by this time all neighbors alerted by the troops of federal soldiers there and the fire from the barn rushed over to the guard place. All they could find was the charred and abandoned crutch. So they broke that up and gave samples of it as souvenirs to each other. And when I was a small girl, Miss Rita Gray, a neighbor, used to let me see her piece of the crutch that her father got that morning. And she'd always say, Pa had a big piece, but when he was caught the second time, he gave it away to his girlfriends. This is all I've got left. Well, when A.P. Hill was taken over by the government, uh, Miss Rita went to St. Stephen's Church area in King and Queen County. And in her nineties, <clears throat> I heard that she was being taken to Lisbon Nursing Home down below Saluda. So I went to tell her goodbye. And as I shook hands with her, she left a piece of crutch in my hand. Oh, no, I said. Miss Rita, your family has kept this for a hundred years. Give it to some of your people. She said, they don't care straw about it. She didn't have to push my arm too much. <laughs> so I took care of Richmond to a jeweler and had him take a little silver plate and engrave it and fasten it to the piece of crutch. And naturally I treasured it. And here it is if you want to examine it, just don't lose it. <laughs> now you may not know much about this, but I tell you there's a very wide awake bunch of history buffs up in Clinton, Maryland, who are very familiar with all of this. 